Howdy everybody, this is Jim. I live in Texas and I'm on my secret road in central Texas. I'm going to ride this a few times today. I'm not going to ride it real aggressively while I'm talking to you. I may pick up the aggression level a little bit. I noticed from the last video I made of this road I was not apexing high as I probably should. So I'm going to work on not go real fast, but work on getting over here and apexing high when I go around these turns. Get over here, get on the high side, and come into the turn rather than staying on the center line and, you know, trying to woo -wee. So apex high, come in. Seems to be, I think this works for me if I do it right. Apex high, come into the turn. Uh, I thought I'd just give you a little miscellaneous update. I'm wearing new gloves. Uh, these are uh, City Gloves, S-I-D-I, -I. is that how I'm pronouncing that right? Uh, the Crack Dealer, also known as MotorcycleGear.com, has a mailing list you can get, and he sends out almost every day his clearance items. Uh, and uh, there are real bargains there. I mean, there was a Nolan, and every time I get one, I'm tempted to buy something. He had Nolan helmets on sale the other day for uh, their closeouts. He's, the one, the bargains are the closeouts. Uh, and the service there is super good. They're in Lubbock, Texas. So anyway, uh, the, uh, they said, well, we got these. These are uh, some uh, end of run city uh, uh, summer weight gloves. And there, here's a web bike review, world review, and the review is real good. They're not made in Italy. They're made by their Chinese division, and they're branded. There's a little ta uh, name on them. I forget what it is. That If you know what it is, tells you it's not made in Italy. It's made in China. But they seem pretty good quality, and the gloves I usually wear, they, they look like they had more protection, and they said they were good in hot weather, which is always a big concern of mine because I don't do well in heat. Uh, so I'm trying them out for the first time. They're a little tight, but hopefully they'll break in. I kind of like them otherwise. I was concerned about my thumb because a lot of uh, gloves, the thumb is too short for me because, you know, my thumb and other parts are bigger than you would think from my height. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's what she tells me anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, so I'm trying these out. You know, I'll probably ride riding with them some once I get them broken in. I'll let you know whether I go back to my older Alpenstein, Alpenstar gloves, which aren't quite as protective as this. So that's one new thing. What else is going on? Uh, got some stuff going on in my personal medical front I'll talk about. Mostly good stuff. Talk about that probably in the future, not right now, today. Oh, Ninja News. That's the other big news from Jim. Uh, uh, you know, those of you who, my fan who has watched me uh, for the last three years or however long I've been doing this knows I for a long time I rode a Ninja 250 which I still own before I got this FJR and it's suffered for the last two years from an overheating problem and it just it overheats once you ride it more than 10 or 15 miles down so I hadn't been riding it well this road is fun Whee! apex high Jim come back in ah yeah Rossi's got nothing on me so anyway, uh, the fellow I work with, this young guy, told me when he, we hired him, uh, he's working as an intern for us, that he, was, he likes working on cars, and he got a bike, and he said he got a Honda CBR 250, one of the new ones, and, he, and so that he caught on fire for motorcycles when he did that. I told him about an engine. He really wants to fix it. I think he wants more motorcycle wrenching experience. He's done some, he's got a rice rocket, you know, a rice burning car that he's done the the, whatever the mods are to it that the rice burning kids like to do, he's done those. So he's, he's not a novice mechanic at all. Uh, he's past the novice stage anyway. So I'm going to let him have a crack at my Ninja. And I figured, oh, I told him well, one of two things are going to happen. Either you're going to fix it or you're going to take it apart, not be able to fix it, and then we'll just part it out. And we'll, you know, and I'm going to, you know, he said he'd do it for free, but I'm not going to allow that. Wow, this is a great road. Man, I love this road. And I'm not, I don't go fast on it. My, my ninja, my coworker, this is the, my CBR 250 friend is the one who told me about this. And <laughs> he says he's scraping the pegs off on this thing. 
Lastly, uh, I got several new subscribers over the last two weeks. I'm very flattered. I think at least two people who uh, live here in Central Texas. So, you know, maybe uh, here uh, pretty soon uh, it'll... Uh, God, it's hard to do. I have so much trouble doing 180s on this because of my fear of dropping it. So really, I'm really glad you guys subscribed and uh, we will have to have a little meetup of some kind if we get a you know if we can get you know three three or four people we could have some fun lastly oh last big news from jim and then i'll shut up uh, nasa this week uh opened the uh application window to be a social media reporter at the march 1st nasa spacex uh commercial resupply mission number two to the uh space station those of you who've been watching a while know i uh I was invited to uh, report on mission number one. Had a terrifically good time, and in fact, as soon as they announced the March 1 uh, launch window, I put in for uh, a week off, so that if I, just on the odd chance they do it again. So, my application's in. Uh, they, I don't guess they pick, I don't know how many people they apply. They, they told, me, uh, told us when we finally got there that I got the person were a little disappointed because I think they invited 20 people and only about 10 really showed up. But I will show up. So if you uh, if you have any pull with uh, NASA, if uh, Administrator Bolden is your your dad, put in a good word for Jim to go back. Uh, <laughs> well, the day I, w I went down there, uh, my uh, smartphone, my Android smartphone, had just died, and I didn't have a smartphone, you know, and I didn't take, I didn't have a good video recorder at all. Uh, this uh, drift is fine for motorcycles, but it's not for shoot video of space launches and stuff. So I promised them on my application that I will buy or rent a really good uh, video camera to give better coverage. And I don't want to talk and then feel myself going down into that abyss right there. Uh, anyway, so SpaceX, I should know, probably uh, toward the end of this next week. It's February 16, 2013 today. If I'm going to... Uh, be able to go to the next SpaceX uh, mission. That would be awesome. So that's the gossip from Jim. One more time, thank you for, uh, you know, like the Girl Scouts, my, uh, uh, I love my subscribers, even though I don't have that many of them. Uh, I want to, uh, the Girl Scouts say, uh, make new friends and keep the old. One is silver and the other is gold. Those of you who've been with me a while, you're gold to me. And then slightly behind you, the ones who've just subscribed, you're silver and I hope you stay with me and uh, become gold friends also. Uh, this is Jim, and I'm uh, riding my secret road in Texas. Party valves are coming close. FTS is on. Flight termination system is on. Somebody in the Air Force, probably a, a major, can blow this rocket up whenever he wants. LD, verify go for launch. Over and over. Everyone from SpaceX and NASA has been saying this is hard, hard, hard to make this work. T minus two minutes and ten seconds and counting. Rock, verify range, go. RC, this is Rock on Countdown Net, range green. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Two yes. are coming open. Helium load is ending anomaly. Ox bleeds are open. One final engine chill for all nine. Merlin engines are up for stage. Computers in auto idle. T minus one minute. Play computers in startup. One minute. Boy, I'm computers so tense. Controlling the vehicle at T minus 53 seconds. Standing by for the propellant tanks to flight pressure. First and second stages are pressing to their flight position. More valves are opening. Yeah. Helium check out of the bird nominal. Seconds. Dragon and Falcon are talking to each other, getting everything ready to go. Space station should be right up there somewhere. At T minus three seconds, the nine Merlin engines of the first stage will ignite. Fifteen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. There they are. Two. It's going somewhere now.
It's going somewhere. And lift off. Whoa. Lift off of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. There it goes. There it goes. God, that's a magnificent. I'm choking up. Made in America. Tested in McGregor, Texas. Accelerating and accelerating. It's getting noisier and noisier. It's the biggest bass woofers you ever heard. Okay, it's, it looks like it's tilting over and headed east, headed northeast now. Coming up on two minutes. Two minutes into flight. Merlin engines performing normally. Elon Musk, you're a hero. 